Okay guys, this is very optional. We eat gluten-free because I have celiac, so we use three packets of gluten-free gravy. One packet was the brown gravy and the other two were a savory gravy. They worked really well as far as adding in some flavor and then gave it that nice, thick, juicy, um, stew-like taste. We didn't really want it to have a thin base to it. We wanted it to have a thicker base and the gravy packets do that really well. You could use cornstarch or rice flour or whatever thickener is your choice. There it is guys, my famous farmhouse beef stew. Anyways, um, I have two kilns being delivered and I'm super excited. So I'm going to get my shoes on. to see how messy this place is. Oh my gosh, there's so much to do. 
I got those two kilns. I can't get them to um, heat up, but I'm going to um, get my metal cart. I have one metal cart, and it's over by my garden. It's the same ones I use, like, for... Um, and pretty much I just want to see if maybe if I just plug this kiln directly into the outlet, if that will give me a better like chance with the power. And since I have, um, here you guys go, I've got myself water. We try not to let their water get stagnant. So I let them drink it down. That way I can clean it and then refill it. There. Oh, Prince. Hey, buddy. So funny. He sees the dog jump and then he's like, oh, I'm going to jump too. So then he jumps. So I'm going to put it on the metal cart. Hey, bud. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> oh, yes. There you go. Let's see. There he is. Say hi. So, I am just gonna check his water. The pig, it's so funny. My friend Ruben came out with all that donated food that they didn't have anywhere to take. And Alyssa's like, mom, somebody came out and put something in the pig's water. It's white. And I was like, white? I was like, maybe it's just calcium buildup. And she's like, no, mom, it's white. Like. She thought something happened. So I forgot that Ruben was out here because I was working on my car and had all that stuff going on. So I was like, definitely not just thinking about like, oh, you know, somebody was, Ruben was out here putting stuff out. <laughs> sure enough, I was like, oh my gosh, what is that? <laughs> I forgot to give them their cattle cubes. I'll have to come back out here later on and give it to them. I'm going to give the pony the last one. But so anyways, long story short, it was really funny because we could not figure out what the heck happened to the pig's water and Alyssa wanted to like file a report and then I thought about it and I was like, it's half and half, half cream, half milk. That is what it was, but it was super funny seeing like having that time of forgetting what it was and then remembering again because yeah. That's what happened. Okay, guys, I have been out here um trying to figure out these kilns and i just went and got my metal cart made it my kiln cart it is the one i normally use in the garden but it's going to be a great service for this because i can roll them out to the outlet when i want to use them i may even build them their own little like tin kiln shed out here um, <laughs> I don't know what she's saying. Um, but this one, the light is on now. Um, and we're gonna see if it climbs. I would like it to get to a thousand degrees so that way I know that it works. So I'm gonna give it some time here. I feel safer because we're on the gravel and there's really not much to catch here. Um, this outlet comes straight from our breaker box. It's got a really, like a, a higher amp fuse attached to it. So I know it can handle these. And so I'm gonna go ahead and start with this first one here. See if I can get it up to a thousand degrees and then go ahead and work on the smaller one. When this happens, I will be so stoked because um, at first I may, because I need to get a wheel 
a pottery wheel. But until then, I may just go ahead and order some clay to roll out and do some rollouts and see what I could do with mugs that way. Like, not everything out on the wheel, right? I know, should I wait? I don't know. Um, so, my other thing is, I'm not exactly sure, like, how I want this to be arranged. The temperature's already climbing, so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, it's not much, but, and like, I honestly don't think those temperature gauges are reliable because they never really went down to zero. Um, but I imagine the thermostat, hopefully, is attached to the power switch there and that will go ahead and navigate like when it shuts off and then holds temp. I don't know. Uh, but I'm so excited. So I'm gonna order some clay with faith that these work. Um, the guy that I bought them from, I'm a little concerned that I might have to do some stuff to get them up to par. I still feel like that's a really good deal. So I'm gonna kind of hold off on making that decision. But um, I don't, like if I need, I know like a thermometer for instance, just for me to make sure that I have the right temperature. Cause that's important. You don't want to melt your glaze off. Um, they're like $70, $80. And so if this one's not working, I need to order new ones, which that's a cost I wasn't really expecting to get with these. And then especially when I found this one down here for sale in a pretty close town. It's about like maybe an hour and 20 minutes for me. It's right by where my family lives and selling it for a hundred bucks. So I would be paying like 150 each for these, which to each their own, but the other one is like three times the height. So I would be able to do like substantial pots in it. Like I could do really big pottery in that one. And um, this one I'm limited on what I can do. So I don't know.